Hi, I am Mark Harrison and you may know me from my various music instruction books or from my work here in Los Angeles at the Grove School of Music. In this lesson we're going to check out the keyboard part for the famous Maroon 5 song called This Love and you may know that I wrote about this song in my All About Music Theory book. Um, starting on page 195 of this book I have a complete keyboard transcription of the Maroon 5 song. Uh, definitely worth checking out. This is actually a fun book to have. It's a great music theory primer for contemporary theory and contemporary styles and it has the music in for many well-known songs. Okay, so to the Maroon 5 song there's a, a four measure sequence that cycles for a great deal of the song and we're going to focus on that. Uh, the first chord we have in the right hand is a G triad. This is in first inversion. G is the top note, bottom to top we have B, D, and G. From that we move to a C minor triad in root position, bottom to top C, E flat, G. After that we have a couple of four part chords. The next is a second inversion, F minor 7 four part chord, bottom to top we have C, E flat, F, A flat. Then finally in the sequence we have a B diminished 7 four part chord, bottom to top that is B, D, F and A flat. The diminished seventh is kind of an interesting character in that any one of these notes in this chord could be the root of the chord uh, and that we'll see that at work when we add the bass line in just a moment. Okay so uh, back to the uh, right hand shapes here um, let's see how they would sound uh, played with a simple rhythm loop um, the right hand triads and four part chords being played in a steady eighth note rhythm which is typical for the style. Here we go. First of all, let's uh, discuss the actual notes being used and then we'll consider the rhythmic elements. First of all, below the G triad, we have the note B, which creates a G over B chord in total. Then the bass line moves to D, uh, creating a G over D momentarily, before uh, we land on the C minor chord. When the right hand triad moves to C minor, the left hand root is also the note C. Then the bass line moves up to G, which is the fifth of the C minor chord, before descending down in half steps through G flat and then to F. Once we're on F, then that is the root of the F minor 7 chord. Then the bass line descends further from F through E flat to D below the B diminished 7 chord, actually making it momentarily into a D diminished 7 chord. Then the bass line descends to A flat, actually then making it momentarily an A flat diminished 7 chord. All those notes are within the above chord. Okay, bass line finally moving through B flat on its way to B below the G triad to complete the whole cycle. Okay. Also, there's some interesting uh, 16th upbeats in the bass line. Uh, bass notes are landing on the second 16th note within beat 4 in each measure. Uh, that means these notes are in between the right hand eighth note pulse which makes for some interesting uh, you know, rhythmic combination between the hands. So let's just focus for a moment on the left hand part uh, with the rhythm just uh, in isolation for a moment. Here we go. Combine that uh, below the uh, right hand triad and four part chord pattern that we spoke about earlier. Here we go. there about that famous Maroon 5 song. I sure hope you'll enjoy playing it. Um, for further information on any of our education books, including the All About Music Theory book, 
please check out our website at harrisonmusic.com. I'm also pretty busy giving online lessons from my studio here in Los Angeles. Um, and this is the view of me that you would see during the lessons. Uh, and again, there's more information about our lessons on the website. Well, thanks very much, and good luck with playing the Maroon 5 song, This Love.